Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Brian. And today we're going to get up to 110 proof bourbons. We're going to find you your next perfect bourbon. So before we start today, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share our videos, and be sure to comment below with your thoughts. So if you've been watching our videos in the past, you'll know we've recommended several bourbons to kind of work your way up the ladder of both proof and price point. So we started with Gateway Bourbons, and our choice there was Old Forster 86. Then we moved on to 90 proof bourbons, and we chose Maker's Mark. Right, and then our latest video was uh, 100 proof bourbons, and our winner was Evan Williams Bottled in Bond, which was Surprise kind of a, us both, it, yeah. right. It was a big surprise <laughs> to both of us. So now we're ready to move up to the next level. And before we burn your face off with <laughs> barrel proof and uh, you know real high proof stuff, we thought we'd kind of find a middle ground. So we're going to go to bourbons that are up to about 110 proof today. So, Brian, there aren't a ton of bourbons that we can easily find that are between 100 and 110. So, we're going to taste four today. Right. It it really, there are a, there are other bourbons in this category, but as I was looking, some of them aren't available everywhere. So, in our whole philosophy is this should be stuff that's easy to find for everybody. So, that's why we settle on just four instead of five or, um, you know, more than that. So why don't we go ahead and start tasting these bourbons and we'll find out uh, which one we like the best. Just so you guys know, we're doing a blind tasting. We know what the four bourbons are, but we don't know which one is which of the four we have in front of us. So we're going to taste each one and then we'll tell you which one we like the best and which one is our recommendation. Before we go any further, we are going up in proof. So what do you think we should expect in these bourbons as we jump up to over 100 proof? Well, what we're going to see is some more burn. Right. But we're also going to see more flavor. So what I noticed last our, in our last video, we saw a lot more flavor differentiation mm -hmm. between the bourbons. So what I'm looking for is that I can taste the difference between right. these high proof bourbons. Right. And I totally agree. And, you know, getting into this number as far as proof is really what I prefer because of the flavor. Mm -hmm. It really does give you more of the flavor because it's not diluted. It's not dumbed down to a lower proof. Um, so you're really getting more of what that bourbon really tastes like. So mm -hmm. without further ado, why don't we start tasting these bourbons and see which one we like best. All right. Bourbon number one. All right, so here we go with number two. All right, on to number three. Cheers. All right, so finally, let's go with number four. Okay, so we have done our tasting. We've ranked our favorites. We've kind of crunched the numbers and mm -hmm. we definitely have a clear winner. But let's start by saying none of these are bad bourbons. All good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Every single one you would not be disappointed in. Uh, but the other thing we should mention is we are creeping up as far as budget goes. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about higher proof, you're going to pay a little more. 40 to $60 right. usually. Yeah. So we to are... tap out at like 60 for here correct. for this level. Correct. That's that's where we are. The highest is 60 um, So we are creeping up, like I said. Uh, but again, I would say all very affordable. Mm -hmm. And the best part of it is that all of these bourbons are easily findable. Mm -hmm. You're going to find them. I mean, we live in a small town yeah. and we found all these right here in town. So let's get started with our fourth ranked one. And again, it's it's really hard to say like, oh, this was our last ranked one because it's a oh, good No, they were all bourbon. so good. Yeah, right. they really were. All of these were really good. All right. So our fourth one is Four Roses Small Batch Select. All right. And what, what did you, you think about this Okay, one? so I thought... Pretty much this one was kind of um, 
I think we ranked it towards the bottom because it didn't have something special that set it apart from the other ones. I agree. It was very. It was kind of like a basic bourbon. Mm-hmm. It was delicious. You could mix it. You could sip it. But I wouldn't rank it above the others. Uh, yeah, and, and I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it does have a, a really nice flavor. I drink this quite a bit. This is like a nice uh, everyday sipper. Mm-hmm. Uh, but compared to some of these other ones, it there was just something about it that fell a little flat. And it might be a little bit more expensive, actually. It is. Yeah. This is, what did you, you bought this one, it was 60 This was $60. 60 yeah. So this is on the high end of our range as far as price goes. It's 104 proof. So, um, you know, it's above the 100 and 101 mm-hmm. that we talked about last week. Uh, but it, it it's on the lower end of as far as getting up to 110. Uh, but yeah, $60 is the high end for this. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to talk about one more that is actually kind of creeping up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, that maybe at this point might be a little more than what we might have paid for it originally. Uh, but right now for what we paid, this is this is the, at the high end of our, of our list at uh, $60. Um, and if it ranks at the bottom... You might need to forget this one. Right. But I would also say, if you can find it, grab a bottle. It's nice to have on your shelf, for sure. All of them are good. Yes. We're just ranking. Absolutely. Yes. So what do you have at number three there, Lauren? Okay, we've got our bullet bourbon single barrel. And this is actually the first time we've had bullet on this channel. And it's not because bullet's a bad bourbon. Mm -hmm. Um, But... I would say if you're going to buy Bullet, you want to be up at this level. Mm-hmm. Regular Bullet is fine, but there's so many better bourbons at that price point and that proof point. How much did that one cost? This one was, I think, 50 ish dollars, like mm-hmm. 56 maybe. So it's coming up close on Four Roses. Right, right. It's up there. Now, here's the thing on this Bullet uh, bottle that we have in front of us. This is a single barrel bottle, and this is also a store pick. So there's a couple of things that we really need to kind of explain as far as that goes. Yeah, what's a store pick? So that means that the store, and this is a local store right up the road from our house, um, they pick this barrel. And I actually talked to the owner so that you understand kind of what a store pick means. Bullet sent them three samples from three individual barrels. And the owners of this store tried all three samples and decided we like this barrel. Pretty cool. Right. So when you go to the store, they have all the bottles from that barrel right there. And they actually have the barrel too. It's kind of cool. They have the barrel sitting there on the floor. Here's the thing with single barrel bourbons and with store picks, they're going to vary. The only thing you could really depend on with a bullet bur- uh, single barrel is that they're going to be bottled at 104 proof, mm-hmm. and that's what this one's at. So, Brian, no matter where you get this bottle from, mm-hmm. even if it's a single barrel, mm-hmm. it's going to be picked by somebody mm-hmm. who knows what they're doing, hopefully. Right. And the barrels are going to taste differently, you know, depending on how high up the altitude inside of the barrel house. Mm-hmm. Um, It's going to affect the flavor. Mm -hmm. But no matter where you go, it should taste pretty good. Right. It should be a good bottle for you to get. But for us, it was number three, and it's not a bad bottle. This one happens to be pretty good. And I have a little secret for you. This is the fourth bottle I bought from this liquor store because this bottle, this particular barrel, happens to be that good. Really? Yeah. Right. Maybe you should take some home with you. All right. No problem here. So let's go with number three. What do we? What did we rank? I'm sorry, number two. Where did we rank at number two? All right, we've got Maker's Mark at number two. Okay. No real surprise here. Maker's Mark is pretty consistent with us. Mm-hmm. Um, I I liked it. I thought it had a great taste. I thought mm-hmm. it wasn't too floral. Mm-hmm. Um, great for mixing. Great for tasting. Mm-hmm. Slate burn, but nothing. That you right. can handle if you're well, yeah. amateur or otherwise. Right. And this is on the higher end of this range. It's 109 proof. It's actually 109 point something, I actually. 109.3. So it's a little bit higher proof. We're getting up towards the higher limit of this uh, group of bourbons. Um, and again, this is the cask strength. So this means 
this is what it comes out of the barrel and it's not diluted. It's not watered down at all. This is what you're getting out of the barrel. And I found it to be very, very good. It was, I know people hate this word, but it was smooth. It was Maker's real. Maker's Mark always is. It always. <laughs> it was real light on your palate. Um, and I thought it was full of flavor. Uh, this was a great one. So the Maker's Mark cask strength is definitely a winner in this proof range. Uh, so I would not hesitate to grab one if you see one. And this is actually the cheapest on our list at $40. Really? Yes, Maker's Mark Cash Strength is a great value. Mm -hmm. It's the cheapest one of this group, and as you can see, it finished at a pretty good mm -hmm. uh, spot at number two. So don't hesitate on this one. Don't sleep on Maker's Mark Cash Strength. Grab one if you see one. All right, let's go to our number one. Number one. Now, I have not had this before, it's but I one. really enjoyed it when it I had it. It was great. Tell us about it. All right. So this is Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. And what's so surprising about this one is this is a wild turkey product. Mm -hmm. And we have talked about in past videos how wild turkey has kind of underperformed for us. And yeah, it's been inconsistent. Right. For sure. And that was so surprising to me because I'm such a big fan of the higher proof wild turkey products. Mm -hmm. Russell's Reserve is a fantastic bottle. So if you can grab a hold of one of these... Definitely go for it. And here's the thing about Russell's Reserve. We are always about ones that you can easily find. Mm -hmm. Russell Re Russell's Reserve is starting to become a little harder to find. I'm not seeing it as many stores now. And it's actually starting to get a little kind pricier. Of, yeah, it's starting mm -hmm. to become a little pricier. How much this, was this? This one oh. was $60. Okay. All right. And that's still... It's within our price range. Like, mm -hmm. we like to keep it below 75. Mm -hmm. This is still in our price range, but it is creeping up. Now, I have seen it online at some sites as high as 80 and $85. Depending on where you are. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is, if you see this in that below 75 price range, Pick grab it. it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. What, what did you think of this one? So, to me, this tasted like... Um, and I mean, I, I know we're in the middle of winter right now, so maybe mm -hmm. this is wishful thinking, but right. I, I got campfire vibes. Mm -hmm. Like I could taste the campfire yep. um, in a good way. Like those beautiful yes. charred flavors. And you could you could drink this uh, with your either your real wood burning stove on, hopefully, mm -hmm. or your mm -hmm. electric fireplace. Right. Or, you know. Just imagining, like maybe on your TV, like a log fire, a Yule right. log playing. Um, but this is like an essentially winter flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's warm, it's welcoming, mm -hmm. it's smooth. It is everything you want in a good bourbon. Right, but I will also say, if you were sitting about your campfire mm -hmm. on a summer night, I wouldn't mind sipping that one. And sometimes mm -hmm. people like to lower the proof in the summertime to keep it a little lighter. Mm -hmm. I would not say this one. You no, would wouldn't have to do, do it that. justice. Absolutely. Yeah. This is a great one year round. And just so we're clear on where we're at here, this is the highest proof, mm -hmm. which means you're oh, getting... Oh, we picked the highest proof? We did. <laughs> but we're also getting a ton of flavor out of this one. Yeah. This is 110 proof. Um, so it is at the top end of our mm -hmm. range, but it's a delicious bourbon. Well, I think if we learn anything, it's that... The higher proof, the more flavor. Right. All right, so these are all four of our picks. We actually recommend all of them, but if you're able to pick up one, Russell's is our number one recommendation. It is not only inexpensive for 110 proof, right. well, almost 110, right. uh, but it's the best of all four, and you can mix it, you can sip it, you can do anything you want with it. Right, and, and, and you know what? Inexpensive is relative. We understand that, mm -hmm. but... We also, you know, at this in this channel, we're talking about seventy-five dollars kind of being our limit. Mm -hmm. And there are so many good bourbons you can get under that price point, and Russell's is a great one. Mm -hmm. That is a bottle you could easily pay a hundred dollars for and still be happy. So the fact that you can still get it for sixty bucks. It tastes like way more than it costs. Exactly. It's it's a great, great value. Even at $60, mm -hmm. it's a great value. So grab it when you can. 
If you enjoyed our video today, like, subscribe, and share. And feel free to comment below on your favorite bourbons. And we are so close to our first milestone of 100 subscribers. And when we get there, we're going to do a special giveaway from a local distillery near us. So please make sure you subscribe so that you can be involved in that giveaway. And with that, Lauren, cheers. cheers. If you enjoyed our video today, like, subscribe, and share. And feel free to comment 